Hi guys, welcome to our little barn in progress. Tonight's extra video is a requested one. It is all about the supplements that we give to our horses. Hey guys, today I'm going to explain to you what we do give our horses, but before I do, I'm going to tell you guys a little story. The very first week that we got Storm, over a year ago, um, I posted a video of Gabby and him in their first lesson together, and we got hate. We got so much hate, you guys. Overwhelming, the most hate that we've ever had before. I ended up having to disable comments on that video because of how much hate. I also spent the whole day crying because I couldn't understand why, where this hate was coming from. We bought her this amazing, beautiful horse and everybody thought that they were a horrible pair, that we were hurting him, that he was sick, that he was sore, that he had a bad neck, that like so many things happened. Even the people pretended to be his last owner commenting on our videos, it was outrageous and it spurred me into action. All that hate made me want to fix whatever was wrong. Even though Storm came from an amazing farm, it was so well taken care of, I tried to figure out what could be wrong with him and the first thing I decided was maybe he has ulcers because the big thing that was wrong with Storm was that he was so grouchy. He pinned his ears every time Gabby put her legs on to tell him to go and every time she asked him to do something else he pinned his ears and threw his head and that's what made you guys think that there was something wrong. We didn't know him. I took it upon myself to figure out what it was and I went and I found a uh, ulcer supplement. I wondered maybe he has ulcers. Every time she put her legs on, every time she asked him to do something, he threw a fit. So I talked to my coach and I went to the store and I got something called Gastra F. I'll put a picture here of what the product looks like. So I bought a big, huge, massive bottle and I tried it. Nothing happened. Obviously it takes a while for some supplements to get into their system. It was an all natural product. I knew that it probably wasn't gonna have crazy side effects so I was happy with the product. We waited and waited and nothing happened. Three weeks after I started that supplement, you guys maybe remember me talking about it, Storm changed. He got so drastically different that I was in shock. I almost cried thinking, oh my God, our horse had uh, ulcer and we didn't know and we treated him and he turned into a different horse. He got calmer, he got slower, he got more relaxed. Him and Gabby really began to bond after that three week mark and I promoted that product and I was like, you know, this is what we gave to our horse. This, is, this has been such a life changing thing. Okay. So then, we had this whole entire year with Storm, a whole entire year. And um, looking back, I could see some changes in Storm over the year. He was slower, it was harder for him to get going. You guys know, you know our horse. About six weeks ago, um, his last bottle of Gastra FX, that was my, that's a cat's tail, ran out. And I was thinking, you know, at the barn we're at now, he, he eats around the clock. He's on a huge, round bale like the horse has enough food i know ulcers can be caused by so many other things especially stress but i felt like it was time time to take him off the supplement i didn't consult anybody i didn't talk to my coaches i just didn't buy any more fast forward a week and gabby had jump school and storm blew us away all of a sudden he had all this energy he was flying over the jumps and our instructor and myself were like, whoa, what happened to Storm? And then a few days later, he was still a little faster. And then a few days later, he was still faster. And now, fast forward about six weeks, maybe two months, and he's a changed horse. He still has that grumpy dis um, uh, mannerisms. He still doesn't like to be asked to do things, but he isn't so slow. He's not so laid back. He's not so calm. He's faster he's more forward he steps out better he he they still have that incredible bond but he doesn't have any of those other things that were negative negative. and looking back i talked to my other trainer race car driver and i said like this is what we've been giving him and i stopped it and he changed and he said laura the thing that you were giving him is definitely an ulcer guard but it also slows the horse down and calms them down and really takes their energy away. And I was like, for a year, I was taking away our horse's energy. So yeah, the point of this story is that 
Supplements have long-lasting side effects that can be negative or positive for your horse. So starting on supplements is a big, huge thing. If you don't know, make sure you talk to a lot of people. That's what we do. And, um, yeah, so I don't give our horses that anymore, thank goodness, because, yeah, I kind of ruined our horse for a year for our daughter. So you guys know that Stella is a metabolic horse and basically uh, she is an easy keeper. She gains weight on air to water her hay and drain out all the sugar so that she's on an even diet. And still, she still has a lot of energy. She eventually did have a founder flare, which is when she's starting to go into a founder episode. So um, people at our barn, a lot of people said, you know, you should try her on Hero. So Hero, is this it is for it's a metabolic supplement for horses it's a um, nutritional supplement healthy equine insulin rescue organics so this is for insulin resistant horses so this is really good for horses with chronic sore feet rotated and on x-ray so Stella did have a five to seven five to seven percent rotation of her coffin bone which our vet thought that was um, conducive to a path laminitis episode before we got her. A founder history, a horse that has Cushing disease, uh, foot sore horses, e easy keeper, staying large on little food, painful feet on hard frozen ground, can't be on pasture, senior horses, health issues, that's what this is for. So we bought it because everybody said this was life changing and it was $154.99 before taxes. Basically, this is a three month supply. You start giving them um, a scoop in the morning and a scoop at night for 10 days. And then after that, you give them one scoop a day. So we did try this. We literally used probably a month and a half of it already. And it, this people swear by this stuff. This did absolutely nothing for our horse. Absolutely nothing. I was waiting and watching, and because I know it can take time, um, I didn't panic. I talked to other people. Um, I have friends who have given this to their horse. They told me that other people have said they don't really notice a difference until their horse comes off of it. And then once their horse comes off of it, there's a huge change. But anyway, we did try it. I was like, you know what? If it's gonna help her, it's gonna help her. Yeah, it did nothing. So. Fast forward, it's getting closer to the time where I was gonna ride again, and I was talking to race car driver, our second instructor, and I was talking about supplements, and you know, he and he said, you know what I give my horse when we go to shows, because his mare's a bit um, crazy at, at in certain circumstances, and in certain situations. Um, he said, I give my horses quiescence. That is this. So quiescence is a magnesium supplement and this one is $39.95. Actually, that was on sale. It's actually $50 um, and it lasts for about two weeks. How you use it is that you give your horse four scoops once a day to start and then after three days, you put it down to, you you decrease the dose. So the, the, the loading dose is to get them on it and get it into their system. It looks like this. So this is the scoop. Looks just like grain. Smells good. You can get this in a bigger container. You can get Hero in a bigger container too. And uh, when we go to this, uh, the other store where we bought this, I'm gonna get a bigger container. So I tried that for Stella just to like see if it would make her calmer. And she was, she already was drastically calmer since moving to our barn, but I wanted to try it. They recommended it. It was magnesium. I feel like because she has so many issues with food, like her being off of sugar and then back to sugar, how it affected her so strongly, I wanted to try and see if she did have a magnesium uh, problem. The results when I started quiescence was immediate. There was no waiting. We gave her four scoops in the morning and midway through the morning, she was like this, literally standing in the in the barn and you could have dropped a bomb beside her and nothing would have happened. And I said, oh my gosh, that, that's not our horse. Like what the heck is happening to our horse? And, I sh and, and then the next day we gave her the same dose and she was exactly the same. And I said, we had friends over and I said, there's something wrong with her, that's not her. And they said, she's just calm. I'm like, no, that's not her. So I talked to my trainer and I was like, I'm decreasing this. Like, so we put her down to two scoops, which is less than the recommended dose for Stella. It's um, one scoop for every 500 pounds or one scoop for every 250 pounds. I think that's what it is. And, instantly she was perfect she she um 
she was alert and aware but calm and relaxed and not only that other things I noticed right off the start of starting this quiescence was Stella started leaving hay in her stall at night we give her her hay at night and go to bed and come back in the morning and there'd be st there'd be hay left that's never happened with Stella before. She started leaving the food in the field to come over and chat with us, hang out with us a little, be curious, hang out with us. Like that had never happened with Stella before. Um, so it's only been about, a, about two weeks that she's been on this. We have never looked back. People said that there's big side effects from taking magnesium in high doses. This is the only supplement in our area that has magnesium in such a high dose um, is loose stool. So some horses who take this can have loose stool. That's why they recommended that we get this small container, try it, and then if she does well, to get the bigger one, which we are gonna do. So those are the only supplements that Stella gets. We've uh, discontinued the Hero. We've kept it though. We're gonna give it to her if we ever, like if we ever need it again, we have it. The only other supplement that our horses get is this Equine Choice Probiotic. So this was $85, $85 plus tax. So it was just under $100 or just about $100. Um, so this is the big, huge container. This will do three huge horses. We give it to our horses occasionally, whenever they have any kind of digestive issue or stress or any kind of problem, we give it to them. So this, so this supplement looks like this. Each horse gets one scoop, once a day. We give it to them at night and Willow gets a half a scoop. But that is it, you guys. Those are the only supplements that our horses get. Stella gets this, and all of our horses are getting this at the moment. That is it. That's all our horses get. Stella gets one thing, and they all get a probiotic. So that's why I didn't want to make the video until I remembered the story about Storm. So make sure you do your research. Talk to a lot of people, and talk to whoever is in, like, if you have a coach or something, and charge them, and talk to them. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and definitely let me know other videos that you guys want me to make. See you guys later. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.